Hey, this is Rockin' Robin. Today we are going thrifting. We're gonna hit a couple of local thrift stores and then we're gonna hit a good, couple Goodwills and a Salvation Army. See what we can find. I'm looking mostly for hard goods, not so much clothes. But you know, I have to look at the clothes because you never know what I'm gonna find. And I always find some good stuff. Just to let you know, uh, stick with us. We sell on eBay. We sell at the flea market. We sell on Poshmark, and we sell on Facebook Marketplace. We teach you a lot. We've been doing this for 20 years, and we're gonna teach you all the good stuff. So stick with us and watch us go. We'll be right back. We always like to start off at the hard goods. I looked around this store. I didn't find too much, not at least right away. I found some better stuff when I looked closer to the sporting goods and the toys and the odds and ends. There wasn't a whole lot of glass, but sometimes I do find glass here. I found that really nice Art Deco piece here. So I keep looking here all the time and you never know what they're gonna have. I found some great Star Wars glasses here at one time, but I didn't find anything in this area that time. That glass was pretty, but I didn't see any good maker on it, so I didn't buy that. If you see anything good and I should have bought, please let me know. <laughs> Cause you know, I miss things too. Then I went over to where they have more hard goods, but I found this car and I thought that that was quite interesting. I know I can either sell it at the flea market or on eBay. And then I got this glove, which I checked out. It's, it's a kid's glove, but it is selling for about 15 to $20. As you can see, it was $3.45. So I thought that was a great deal. It's also something I could sell at the flea market if it doesn't sell on eBay. There were some other things that I found at that place, including some nice straws from Disney that I will keep for a Disney person I have at my flea market. This stow and go, which is for puzzles that I'm thinking about keeping. If not, I will sell it. This is a great costume. I suggest you buy costumes for Halloween. It was only like $3.99, so look for that. Now, this is some shoes. I didn't want to look at too many shoes and clothes, but you know, I can't help it. I have to stop and look at everything. Now, they... I've had some belts. I found a belt recently that was really cool here. So I did stop and look at belts. I don't usually buy a lot of belts. I have found some that were nice that were Harley Davidson and leather and some good names. They also have some bins here and you never know what you're going to find in the bins because no one seems to have gone through them yet or at least not too many. They had some shoes and they were not anything that I was interested in. So I went back to the regular shoes and these shoes were Lance and these yellow duck shoes. I thought about buying them, but I did not. I decided against it. It wasn't really what I was looking for. So, and the other ones were golf shoes and they weren't that great. So I dropped those, but I did keep looking, but I will show you eventually a pair of shoes that I did buy that I found and uh, they were very good and they are a beautiful pair of Tevas. I love Tevas. They were only $2. They were actually a little small for me, but I liked them a lot and I knew that I could sell them. This is, picture is from in my car, but they are nice Tevas for $2 and I know I can get at least 20 maybe more. I also found these they go on the bottom, they're the roller blades and go on the bottom of shoes and I know those sell for quite a bit, so that was a great find. Now, the next store I went to, I went back and I looked around at some of their hard goods. I thought I had found a good VCR and DVD set, but it did not work out because it was uh, that you couldn't open the DVD and I didn't want to get it just for the VCR and have to explain all that. But it was a nice one and it was selling for quite a bit. So look for those. I looked around here. Now, you know, you always got to look and you never know what you're going to find. There really wasn't too much. At this place, I will show you a couple things that we did find, but there wasn't a whole lot. Some collectibles. There's always collectibles in this area. 
And this is kind of how the Goodwills are. Now, I thought about buying that, but I have several of those already that I sell at the flea market. And there wasn't any name on it. It was nice leather flask, but there was no name on it. So I said, I really didn't think it was worth purchasing and it didn't have a price. Now, I have been looking at VHS. I told you at one time not to buy VHS tapes, but I recently found that if you buy the rare ones, they do do sell. Now, I took some pictures of these, and I'm going to go check them out. If you see anything rare, let me know, because I will go back and buy them. I look at furniture. Not a big buyer. I'm not a big buyer of furniture, but I find some from time to time that I can sell at the flea market, not on eBay. And I did look at records. It's going to be hard for you to find records here. You're best off looking for records at garage sales, because they've already been gone through and then I went and I looked at toys I did find a couple of toys I thought I found a really good one but it ended up it was really broken and in bad shape but I did find some interesting things I got this tennis ball launcher it's great for pets and I got it for $4.99 minus my 25% they're selling for $25 to $30 and I also found this golf bag it's a caddy bag it was $9.99 I get it for $7.50 with my discount and it was selling for about $68 was what the comp that I found so I thought that was pretty good plus shipping then of course we took a little break because you can only thrift for so long and uh, we had to get a bite to eat and this is a beautiful scene of where near where we live of the ocean and the water from where we had a bite to eat um, it was it's very pretty and I figured that hey you want to see it because we love it here and it's very pretty that's my favorite bridge the Roosevelt Bridge then we went back I stopped and looked at furniture because you have to look nothing there and then I went through some clothes yesterday at the uh, thrift store. This was at the Goodwill. Now, there was a guy in front of me who he was beating me to everything. He was obviously a reseller. He had a uh, cell phone. He was looking everything up. He found a nice MTV jacket. Boy, I was really jealous of that. It was beautiful, lots of colors. It was definitely 80s. So those types of things you got to look for. And he probably had already gone through all these clothes because he had a couple of shirts in his bag. I wasn't able to find anything here. There were some interesting things and some nice things maybe I could sell because I was in Florida, but nothing that was really valuable. This Marilyn Monroe shirt looked cute, but it really wasn't old, so I wasn't interested in that. Everything I seemed to look for, I did find some Florida Stay and some odds and ends Avengers and, and different things. But they were not vintage that I can tell. So I did not purchase any clothes from there. But after that, I did go over to uh, the men's dressier department. Because you know I like to look for Hawaiian shirts and good names for men's clothing. Because men's clothing is easier to sell than women. And I did find this purple Hawaiian shirt. Now, I only bought it. It wasn't a great name. I bought it because it was purple and I loved the color. And I haven't found a lot of purple Hawaiian shirts. So I thought it was definitely worth buying and putting up. You can see the name. It was nothing special. And I also bought this nice little Swiss bag. And that was really cute. I went to the shoes again. I looked. Couldn't find anything. But I have to throw this in. I did not buy this at the thrift store yesterday. I bought this at a garage sale last week. But I wanted to show it to you. And I had forgot to show it to you last time. It is Little Pet Shops. Look at all the toys. These sell for pretty well. I love to do toys. And it came with all of the extra equipment, the uh, a dollhouse and different things. I don't know if I'm going to sell all this at the flea market or if I'm going to sell it on eBay, but the toys itself are good for you to sell on eBay if you see them. So if you see them, I would definitely stop and grab them. So those are some of the things that we found. I hope you enjoyed. Please remember to subscribe, tell your friends about us, leave a comment, uh, hit the little bell and the bell will tell you uh, whenever we put up a new video. So keep watching. This is Rockin' Robin. Find something good and go make some money.